welcome students for this foundation class uh, it's my pleasure to restart the class after a gap of a week i think some of you have written the exam now and your exams are over for some of you for some your exams are getting over next week may anyway my best wishes to all of you for doing well in your exams so let us go to the first question i i i read the question first question and uh, next question on what somebody else can read if 128 minus 8 power x equal to 2 power 6 then the value of x is just look at it do some little bit calculation mentally without uh, scratching on a pad and then try to answer it try to answer by doing this mentally maybe little small uh, writing in a piece of paper it's okay One twenty-eight minus eight power x is equal to two power six. Then value of x is. Everything you convert into two power, power of two. One twenty-eight is what? One twenty-eight is two power seven, I think. Two power seven minus eight is what? Two power three. Two power three. So stick eight is two power three. Yes, sir. So can I write one twenty eight as two power seven minus eight mm -hmm. as two power three power x that is two power three x equal to two power six. Yes, sir. So can you find now? Now I I made it little easier for you for all of you. Can you can you find the answer now? X equal to. Now take a piece. Okay, you can write in a piece of paper. Nothing wrong. One twenty-eight is two power seven minus two power three x is equal to two power six. So minus two power three x is equal to two power six minus two power seven. Two power six equal to how much? Sixty-four minus two uh, two power seven is equal to one twenty-eight. So that is equal to minus sixty-four. So minus two power three x is equal to minus sixty four. Are you getting it? Are you finding it difficult? Should I should I do it, children? Trinity, are you able to do it? Are you are uh, you are finding it somewhat difficult? No, sir. So, what is the answer? Can you give me the answer? It's easy. I the thought it is easy. The value of x is two, sir. Value of x is two. Are we are we getting two? All of you are you getting two? Yes. Value of x is equal to two. Are we getting two for all of you? I think if you if you if you do in a piece of paper, you will get it. See, one twenty eight. You can write as two power seven. Are you keep it as one one twenty eight? One twenty eight minus eight power x. You can write it as two power three three uh, two power three x equal to two power six. Two power six can be written as sixty four. Yeah, I instead of converting everything in that uh, with the base of two. But initially, you actually convert it as number. That would be better. One twenty-eight minus eight power x is equal to sixty-four. That is minus eight minus eight power x is equal to minus sixty-four. Uh, minus so minus minus gets cancelled. Eight power x equal to sixty-four. So x must be two. Eight power x equal sixty-four means sixty-four is eight square. So x equal to two. Are you with us, all of you? Swastik, are you are you getting it? Yes, sir, yes sir. Okay. So, can you read the hundred and third problem? Because hundred and two, I am just skipping for some reason. Hundred and three. 
380 can you read it Sir, so the screen is not visible. Oh, screen is not visible. My God. Till this time, screen is not visible, huh? Oh, I have not... Uh, correct, I have not shared the screen. That is why you are all having difficulty. My God, you have not told me, Swastik. I got some network problems for me, sir. No, 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 I did not share the... Now, are you able to see the screen? Yes, sir. Yes. Ah, right. 103 question number question number 103 can you can somebody read Srinidhi can you read 103 yes sir by joining the points 5 comma 5 and minus 5 comma 5 to the origin in the cartesian plane then the type of triangle formed is mm. there are two points one is phi phi another one is minus phi comma phi the third point is the is origin so if you connect all these three points what kind of triangle you will get isosceles triangle isosceles triangle is the right answer correct very good All of you are are you getting it? It's easy. That's why I don't want to you know uh, explain this to you. It's isosceles triangle. You if you make a you know a kind of a drawing in your piece of paper, five five comes in the first quadrangle, minus five and five comes in the second quadrangle, and you connect these two points and then the origin. So the 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 other two sides are equal. So it's an isosceles triangle. Very good. Okay, go to question number hundred and four. Traction, can you read hundred and four? Can you read hundred and four? One of you. Traction, can you read question number hundred and four? Are you able to hear me? I'm not very sure whether you, there's any network issues. Ah, uh, no, sir, no, sir. Yeah, you can read it. If the graph of the equation 4x plus 3y is equal to 12, cuts the coordinate axis at a and b, then the length of a and b is. Then the length of a b is a and b, not a and b. I think length of. Length of AB is. Can you draw a line and then find out what is the length of AB? If the uh, graph of equation 4x plus 3y equal to 12 cuts the coordinate axis at A and B, A is uh, is in the x-axis and B is in the y-axis. What is the coordinate of A? Can anybody say what is the coordinate of A point A? What is the coordinate of A and what is the coordinate of B? Uh, uh ordinate hmm. and the abscess. No, no, no. I'm I'm asking what is what are the what is the coordinate of A? Sir, A is three, B is four. No, oh, A is three. What? Three comma zero. Uh, yes, sir. Ah, yeah, the wooding. Yeah. Why did you leave, leave, leave that? Who is that? Abhinav. Ah, Swastik. Swastik. Why did you leave zero? I don't know. I mean, I just wanted to. Uh, I'm curious to know, rather. Sir, that uh, why is equal to zero, no, sir. sir. Okay, uh, no, I should not leave it. No, I'm not. I'm asking coordinate. So it is three comma mm-hmm. zero. A is three comma zero. B is zero comma four. Zero comma four, yes, sir. Okay, then what is A B? One minute. It's the Pythagoras theorem, no? O A B is a right angle triangle where O A is three and O B is four. So A B is equal to. 
Five, sir. What? What is the answer? Five, sir. Five. Five is the answer. Uh, are you are you uh, others are you able to understand or should i explain zubeda i think it's not that difficult that is the reason why i i i, uh, I don't draw anything okay okay go to question number uh, yeah 105 sri nidhi can you read this yes sir In in the triangle ABC, if two angle A equal to three, angle B equal to six, no, angle no, no. C twice B. angle A equal to thrice angle B equal to six times angle C, like that you should read. Okay, yeah, you read now once again from the beginning. In triangle ABC, if twice angle A, thrice angle B, and the six times of C, then the measures of angle A, angle B, and Angle C are respectively. Okay. Now I want to ask you one thing: Is angle A is bigger than angle C? No, sir. Are yes, angle sir, A yes. smaller than angle C? Which is correct? Angle A is bigger, sir. Okay. Look at the option. All of you, look at the option. Where, in which option you have got angle A is bigger than angle C? Second answer. Huh? Second one, sir. Second one. So you need not even calculate anything. Once you know angle A is bigger than angle C, then if that is correct, then you look at the option. The only option where angle A is bigger than angle C is second option. That is the answer. I think I wanted to check with our friends from Parli. Parli friends, uh, Aditi, Aditi, and uh, Sachin. Are you with us? Are you able to understand? Here in this question, I read the question once again for the benefit of everybody. In if in triangle ABC, if twice angle A equal to three times angle B equal to six times angle C, then the measures of angle A comma B comma C are respectively. Now my question is: Is is angle A bigger than angle C? can you tell me uh, sachin or uh, aditi is angle a bigger than angle c so angle a is bigger than angle c so the only option where uh, angle a is bigger than angle c uh, is the option 2 then So ninety, sixty, thirty. Let's say the the point I'm trying to make, Swastik or everybody, you need not calculate everything. Hello, am I making it a point? Sri Nidhi, are you yes, able sir. to understand why, why what I'm driving? So, the point in these in uh, in these uh, thing in these questions, one need not calculate calculate the full answer. Looking at the option, even if you get a clue. That is enough to solve the problem. Samjay, Sachin, are you with us? Yes, sir. Ah, so you have to open your mouth and tell me because I don't want you people to go and calculate too many things on the paper and then get the answer because it very is just by observing. Swastik, are are you able to appreciate my point, Swastik? Yes, sir. Yes. So sir. this is this, this kind of smartness you should. Uh, Uh, bring in with you with you okay go to question number 106 maybe swastik can you read yes sir in a right triangle abc angle b is equal to 90 degree ab is equal to 9 cm ac is equal to 15 cm and d uh, e are midpoints of ab and ac respectively then the area of ad yes yeah. so here i am going to help you little bit
Huh, this one. Are you able to see this? Hey, where is this? The diagram is missing. Ah, are you able to see this diagram? I, yes, I will go through the question once again. Uh, you read the question once again and then look at the diagram. The same diagram. Sir, in a right triangle ABC, angle B is equal to 90 degree, AB is equal to 9 centimeter, AC is equal to 15 centimeter and DE are midpoints of AB and AC respectively. Then the area of triangle ADE is... Yeah, so I am just, you know, at, uh, you just see this, AB is 9 centimeter, AC is 15 centimeter, and then D is the midpoint of AB, D is midpoint of uh, AC, then they are asking what is the area of ADE. So now I am going to ask you one or two questions. What is the length of BC? What is the length of BC? In a triangle ABC, which is a right angle triangle, what is the length of BC? BC square equal to 15 square minus 9 square? Yes or no? The 12. BC square equal to 15 square minus 9 square. 15 square is how much? 225. 9 square is 81. 225 minus 81 is how much you are getting? Plus 12. Huh? So, length of BC is 12. Length of BC is 12. Very good. What is length of DE? Because D is a midpoint of AB. E is a midpoint of AC. Then what is the length of DE? Can you, can you find out? Six. Huh? Six, sir. Yes, half of BC. Whatever be the length of BC and you take only half, that is equal to DE. That is 6. So, in a triangle ADE, what is AD? D is the midpoint of AB. So, what is AD? 4.5. So, AD is 4.5, D is 6. Can you find the area of the triangle? Half BH. Put half BH. How much you are getting? Of BH, of into 6 into 4.5. 27.5. 27.5. Huh? No, uh, just, just look, uh, look at properly, uh, calculate properly, first thing, of into AD into D. 13.5 into 4.5 into 13.5 huh? 13.5 13 is the answer are you getting it all of you here the only catch which you may not know if you take a triangle if you take the midpoints of two sides and join by a line that line will be half of the third side here the line is DE is equal to half of BC BC we do not know, we can find BC and half of BC equal to DE and they want the area of ADE. Srinidhi, are you with us? Are you able to understand? So, okay, I'll, I'll go to, okay. Uh, question number 109, can you read somebody? Somebody can read. Sachin Pilot, can you, okay, Sachin, can you read it, this, under a nine? Yes, If the mode is of the data, 23, 15, 24, 40, 27, 20, 22, 25, 20, X is 25, then the value of X is? Mm. Then the value of X is, so they have given a set of values, one of the value is unknown, that is x. 
but they said the mode of the data is 25 what is more how do you find mode the number which is uh, you know uh, repeated maximum times the number which has repeated maximum number of times so we none of the numbers are repeated more than once but there is one unknown number x but they have given the mode as 25 so what will be the value of x 25 sir huh? 25 25 is he, is he correct sreen is he is he correct yes, sir huh? Yes, sir. Yes. Suppose if the mode is 20, what is the value of x? 20, sir. Why? When the mode is 20, 20, then what is the value of x? When the mode is 20, then the value of x will be again 20. Okay? Because 20 has to repeat twice. If the mode is 27, what is the value of x? 27, sir. 27. So, you should be very, you know, clear on these things. Okay? Right. Hmm. I am just skipping some questions. Ah. I think this also I will skip for some reason. Ah. Okay. Do question number 113. Can you read somebody? Can somebody read 113? Raksha, you read it. If sides of two similar triangles are in ratio 4 is to 3, then the ratio of their area is? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Yes, sir. Then the ratio of their area is? Can you guess what will be the answer? Can anybody guess what will be the answer? What is the area of triangle? What is the formula? Half into B into H. Agree with me? That is if it is a right angle triangle. Half BH. Even if it is not right angle triangle, half BH also is okay. Uh, half BH. So if it is a right angle triangle, half B, I mean uh, half into two sides. So if the two sides, if the sides are 4 is to 3, area is two sides means, I mean side into side, side, that is side square. So it has to be 16 is to 9. The ratio of two similar triangles are in the, uh, the area, the ratio of the areas of two triangles will be in the, in the ratio of 16 is to 9, the square of 4 and square of 3. Okay. Okay. 114. Can anybody read? Uh, I think maybe Srinidhi, can you read? Yes, sir. Sir, yes. Uh, how can I read, sir, this? Huh? How to read this, sir, uh, F? If F1 equal to F2 equal to 1, I'll read then. If F1 equal to F2 equal to 1 and Fn equal to Fn minus 1 plus Fn minus 2, then the value of F3 is. I am not going to help you here. You do on your own and find the answer. Even if it takes more time, no problem. All of you do it. It is not difficult. At the same time, it is little tricky. Yeah, what is the answer? Two, sir. Somebody said two. Can we give him or uh, is he correct or is he wrong? Let, let uh, somebody vouch your uh, answer, then we will uh, think about it. In the meantime, you check whether your answer is correct or not. Are you getting the answer? Sri Nidhi, what is your answer? Rakshan, what is your answer? Hmm. 
एफ एन इक्वल टू एफ एन माइनस वन प्लस एफ एन माइनस टू इफ एफ थ्री देन एफ थ्री इज इक्वल टू वॉट एफ थ्री इक्वल टू एफ टू प्लस एफ वन एन माइनस वन मीन्स थ्री माइनस वन इज टू एफ टू एंड थ्री माइनस टू इज वन एफ वन एफ थ्री इक्वल टू एफ टू प्लस एफ वन वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ एफ वन एंड एफ टू वन so f3 is equal to 1 plus 1 that is equal to 2 so 2 is the right answer swastik okay sir uh, swastik can you explain to everybody uh, once again the way i explained you explain uh, in your own uh, style yes, sir i didn't say the answer sir abhi knows it ah uh, over over i said oh, sorry i thought uh, it is you Okay, you Sorry. now you have got the answer. Two is correct. Is Abhinav correct? Yes, sir. So Abhinav or uh, Swastik, can you can you explain to others why you got two? Sir, if you take f n equal to f three, sir, mm. n equal to three. Mm. So of course, if um, n minus one, that n minus one becomes two, sir, mm. and n minus two becomes one. Yeah. F two and F one value are given as one, so one plus one equals two. Very good. That that's it. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm skipping one one seven. I'm just taking little easy or uh, uh, kind of questions, not not difficult ones. Yeah. Can you read one one seven? Anybody? Can you read? Rakshan, can you read? Factors of the polynomial two uh, two x power four plus x cube minus fourteen x square minus nineteen x minus six are they have given four options. Which option is correct? What is the answer, uh, Swastik, or uh, one of you? If I tell you the answer, you will you will actually laugh at you. Answer is not complicated. Don't think that it's very difficult. See, what is the first uh, factor in the polynomial? The so first uh, this one two 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 to the power two x power four, isn't it? Two into x power four. In which of the option you will get two into x power four? Do you get in the first option two into x power four? Option x plus one into x minus two into x plus three into x minus one. What will you get? You will get x power four. Will you get two x power four? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How will you get two x power four? X into x into x into x will come will give x power four. I know. Where where is the two coming? Is two is coming anywhere? No sir. No, so one is out. The second one, x square in one, x square x x. So that you there also you get x power four, but not two x power four. Third one, are you getting two x power four? Yes sir. Yes. Why are you so hesitant in saying this? X, 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 x. Then two x. You multiply all those things. X into x, x square. X into x, x cube. X square into x, x cube. X cube into two x, two x power four. So you need not calculate much. Just by looking at, you can answer the question. Is it easy? Yes, sir. Yes. Question: Are you getting the point? 
or Srinidhi, are you getting the point? So sometimes you one need not calculate much, uh, no, this one. Somebody is coming, I think. So one need not calculate much. You just see the answer and just by observing the answer you can get it. Okay, let's go to one one last question. Uh, uh, I'm going to close a little uh, early today for some other reason. Uh, what what is that question? I will take one more. I wanted to. Uh, one. Ah, in this one. Yeah, can you do uh, 112? Sir, fourth option. Fourth option. Just, just check. Yes. Is it fourth option? Fourth option is not the correct answer. That I can tell you. Fourth option is not correct. That the x power 4 minus 4 is coming, sir. <laughs> okay, then why did you say fourth option? Are you in a that hurry? You said that, huh? Yes, it is. Sometimes we make such mistakes. It's not that you don't know the knowledge subject. You know the subject, but still we make mistakes sometimes. So the, don't be in a hurry and don't think that each of these uh, questions will require a lot of calculation. Don't think that way. Am I making it a point? Kavinaya? See, you want yes, need not think, you put a lot of calculations to answer a question. And most of the time it is not like that. It is just yes, by sir, observing. There are some it's by observing you may be able to answer the question. Just by observation. One need not even calculate sometimes. So what is this answer for this? Definitely, two, three, four are not answers. That I am very sure. So, what is the answer? I am option saying... One, eh? Option two, option three, option four are not the answers. With a lot of confidence, I say. So, what could be the answer then? Option one. Two. Option one. So why did I say two, three, four are not option, are the are not the right answers? Why did I say without any calculation? I am saying two, three, four are not answers. Tell me, Kavinaya, you have come late, so I am going to give this uh, task to you. See, the second option, plus two you have and minus two the plus two and minus two. If you multiply that, what will you get? Kavinaya, I am asking you if in the... Minus 4. Extra. Minus 4. In the option 3, what will you get? Minus 2 and, and plus 2 is there. If you multiply that, what will you get? 0, sir. No, no. Multiply. Minus 2 into... Minus Multi 2 into 2. What will you get? Minus 4, sir. Minus 4. Then the fourth option, you, you find... What will you get? 
We get we get negative answer. Yeah, that what is that? Minus four. Am I correct? Yes. But sir. you should get plus four. Where will you get plus four? In the option one, you plus will get plus four. Four. Plus two, sir. Ah, so parga, how easy? How easy it is? Understood, children. See, uh, I just uh, took these these four or five questions intentionally, and I wanted to show you. One need not be very smart in calculation for uh, answering these questions. One should know the subject. So, as take Abhinav, everybody. I'm I'm just giving you two three names because uh, these are names are familiar to me. But don't be very you know uh, kind of a, a calculation oriented boy as far as. these uh, you know uh, je or uh, neat is you know, they don't have mathematics je or any competitive exams can one need not do many calculations what one has to be smart to find from the options which option may be very suitable is it difficult no sir but did you 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 could not get this straight away because you are not exposed because you are not that experienced so here after you should don't try to calculate as soon as you see the question some people will start uh, writing on the newspaper on the on the uh, no, notebook don't do such things keep on observing read the question twice or once twice or thrice then you decide which of the option would be you know uh, uh, kind of a guessing or whatever uh, judgmental thing you do and you should come to answer uh, why i am saying this is in your board exam all of you You are supposed to write step by step. Am I correct? Hello. Yes, sir. So here it is not required. So the two, two are two different games. Two are two different games. The game itself is different. Even though it is mathematics, the game is totally different. The game is. It's like, uh, for example, uh, let's suppose I ask this question. Suppose, suppose I have you. Uh, do you know there is a five-day uh, cricket match? Yes, sir. sir. No, no. I'm asking Swastik. Swastik, are you there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, and there is a T20. Yes, sir. Okay. Similarly, do you know there is a under a thousand five hundred marathon race where the no. people have to run forty two kilometers, twenty one kilometers like that? Yes, sir. Is there a race which is uh, which is only for hundred meter race? Is there? Yes, sir. Both are running, but the 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 uh, uh, the strategy used will be same. In no, marathon, sir. you will start slow, pick up the yes, speed, sir. and then uh, uh, and uh, maintain a particular speed uh, later on. But in hundred meter dash, what will happen? If you start slow, what will happen? Yes, sir. You will lose from the yes, minute sir. second one onwards. You should uh, keep flying. You should start fast <laughs> and then run fast. There is no question of you know going slow, pick up, picking up speed. Nothing like that. You straight away start with the very high speed, and do as much as possible within that ten uh, second or something. Both are running, yes. but the two different strategies you need to answer uh, to uh, win the race. Similarly, what did what is the other example I gave? I forgot. Ah, uh, cricket match, five day match, and T twenty. Okay, now I am asking uh, Kavinaya. Kavinaya, how will you how will you play T twenty? Sir, it will be for one day, sir. It will not be one day. T twenty is only for three hours or four hours. Okay. Sir, twenty hours. Sir. Twenty hours. So how will they eat? Maybe one or two uh, hours or three, four hours or uh, four or five hours or so. That uh, what what is over the call? The initial five hours is called something, no? So that five hours they will they will uh, hit slowly, cautiously, yes, without losing the wicket. They may not mind uh, not scoring big uh, runs, but after six to hour. Or or after tenth over, will they keep quiet? No, sir. They will hit left and right. Particularly after fifteenth over, they will lift. Uh, you know, hit left and right. So the strategies mm -hmm. are totally different. I want you, you students. And for, for, I mean, uh, the board exam, you need that kind of skill. The entrance exam, you need this kind of skill. That is the reason why many students who do well in the board exam, they find it difficult to score in the entrance exam. So, stick. Am I making it a point? Making a point. Yes, yes. Similarly, this is all about. I mean, uh, suppose somebody does good in uh, uh, your uh, what is that uh, entrance. Uh, 
they find it difficult to score in the board exam because totally different kind of things totally different kind of things so i just want you to because you are in the foundation we need not hurry in our uh, uh, in covering as many questions as possible but these fundamentals you have to be very clear sachin pilot i mean sir, sir sachin and uh, aditi are you with us uh, uh, do you understand yes, what i am trying to say in foundation class we don't have any target we don't have any syllabus but i want to come to the ground in understanding these questions and trying to answer with the style the style which is required for that particular uh, this kind of exam it it is easy to say but difficult to practice i know because it is easy to say i you know i can talk like this but then it because you are so tuned to board exam you are not so much tuned to uh, this kind of thing you may find it difficult but slowly you should bring both the skills slowly you have to bring both the skills now it is like this kavinaya it is you know let's say take exam kavinaya is very good in right hand uh, writing in the right hand she is not that all good in writing in the left hand let us assume like this and by the time she goes to entrance exams by the time she reaches 12th exam she should be very good in writing the in right hand she should be equally good in writing the left hand how is it can you do it all of you yes sir so this is the kind of resolution you should uh, resolve you you should resolve yourself and trying to bring in the mindset and mentality totally different when you come uh, when you take up the class i mean entrance exam class and you bring a different mindset when you go to your school that mindset itself is totally you know uh, different okay this is uh, slowly you will you will learn this and hopefully you know you will come up with flying colors in our uh, days to come i mean in your 11th and 12th exams so we'll close at this today we'll meet again next week we thought we will have some two three classes in one week itself at least two classes because we lost one class no are you are you okay with the, with more than one one class yes sir okay i just want to be i'm getting yes, only sir. one yes why other no, other others are not interested sir one question sir no if you have any problem you let me know suppose you have some school exam something then we will not keep that class on the previous day Swastik, when are you going to have? What are the days you have uh, exams? Sir, sir at school we have uh, exams till the board, sir. Huh? We have exams till the board, sir. Me and Swastik. No, no, you, you have exams yeah. till the. Till the board, sir. February, March. Till the board. Division test. Boards, boards, board exams, sir. No, no, no I, I don't get you. Like next week, what are the sir, days no, sir, you don't uh, have exams? Like, uh, what are the days you don't have exams we will have exam mostly sir but alternate days or something like that yeah you tell me the days then those days on the previous day suppose you uh, we keep on monday we make sure that you don't have uh, exam on tuesday okay okay sir so you tell me i see i am asking you if you tell me we will keep the on those days whichever days convenient to you yes sir and for uh, straight board people there is no problem because it's a holiday I don't know whether CBSC, ICSC, whether they give holiday for next week. Sir, as we are in our tenth grade, um, one week once we'll have an exam, sir, like revision test. So on that day, on the previous day, we will not have the class, okay? Yes, sir. Yes. But you have to tell me. You have to guide me. You have to tell me like uh, when you have the exam and when you okay. don't need, uh, uh, you don't want to attend, okay? Okay, sir. So I don't want you people to lose our class. At the same time, I don't want you people to. Put into pressure for your exams, your school exams. So that is the point which I am trying to make. Same thing with Parli students. Aditi, when are you having exam? You let me know so that we will not have the class on the previous day. Okay? Twenty-five to fifteen. Twenty-five to fifteen. What does it mean? Fifteen means? No, no, twenty fifth of September, ah, huh? or uh, October. Oh, we have finished. October, 25th. sir. Huh? Uh, starting from fifteen and uh, end end with twenty five. Oh, that is in October, no? Yes, yes. Yeah, the that is different. I am asking next week. 
week beginning 30th to uh, week uh, 30th to 5th or 6th of october you tell me which are the days convenient to you and each of you will tell me which are the days convenient to you and we'll keep the classes on those days only up okay yes, so shall we close